Hello! This is a tutorial of Girl from Ipanema ukulele version. The top lecture in this video is from the book Ukulele Bossa Nova, arranged by Kiyoshi Kobayashi. And I think you can get the book from eBay or other online bookstores. Let's start with the intro part. I recommend you to use four fingers in this part, thumb, in that middle and ring, its fingers mark its strings. And make sure you don't move your fingers, hand up and down, just for the your fingers when you play. It starts with this rhythm. Three fingers, two fingers, index two, two. So let's play with the chords. C major seven first. Three fingers, two fingers, index two. Bar and three and C major again and bar three again. This X marks its tapping, and the next thing is minimum the half note. So take two beats one, two, and three. Now, part A. I use thumb at here to make a mellow sound. It's different from but see the difference? Okay. Fingering is not difficult, but the rhythm can be a little bit tricky. But the same rhythm repeats again and again, so if you get it once, it will be easier. So let's start. And add two at here. Like this, you put it in and take it off. G7 sauce so for shape. And one bar and two. And don't put it out. Just keep it. And. And. And bar. One, two, and three. This circle means half note. And go back to the beginning of the part A. And here I changed my finger, thumb to four fingers like this. And added a topping, usually second and fourth beat. And I changed the rhythm a little bit here to triplet, but it doesn't matter you do in original version or you're in your own version, just to make them fit in for four time. So I will repeat this rhythm. Let's do it from part A. Pull all three fingers together and add two. And thumb again. G7 sauce for shape. Triplet version. Like this, play till just before the bracket number one and jump to bracket number two. Four fingers again. Three, tap. For this one beat, I recommend to cut the sound with your fingers, not direct the sound like but cut it, putting your fingers on the strings and like this, it will be better. Part B, bar on 1 and 3. See, make sure you wait half a beat and 
I played just in beat at this time, but you can play it in triplet, like shh, like this, and four. I added a tap and one with your middle finger to make this shape, and cut the sound again. Bar on four and six, and same rhythm again. You can change it to triplet, and to add a tap and do it this with ring finger and make G7 shape. And part C, move your fingers just one fret each, and same rhythm again. Or triplet, and three added a tap and ring finger. Or you can use triplet. Change it to thumb to make mellow sound and play easier from this 7-8 So No, not like this And pinky It was just in beat or in triplet And bar on fifth and eighth. Move index to four and D minor shape and pinky. Or do it in triplet. Move D minor shape and pinky. Part D. The left fingering is just the same with the part A and play like what we did in the second time of part A. Use three fingers and add more tapping at the original version like this. Sus for shape and bar and two. Keep it the bar and three and cut the sound again. And here it's dar senyo, which means go to senyo. So go to senyo on part B. So play once again part B. C and D just before the two coda. And we go to coda bar and two. It was just in beat or triplet. I omit this tapping to make the sound a little bit longer it was but different and this is two beats make it a little bit longer because of the fermata and ends with C major 7 Based on Kiyoshi Kobayashi's score, I changed it a little bit as I want. You have your own rhythm, so play just as you want. Thank you for watching.